It's getting time, the presidential version, a bit of a snub for President Obama. The president was kept from his favorite pastime by several high-end golf courses near New York City. The White House tried to get the commander-in-chief a tea time when he was visiting upscale Westchester County over Labor Day weekend, but oh, it wasn't meant to be. He was turned down at least three times by very <laughs> expensive golf clubs, including Trump National. There could have been a reason behind that one. Now, the clubs <laughs> reportedly weren't given enough warning and didn't want to inconvenience their regulars with the presidential entourage. H hello, uh, this is the leader of the free world. Your motorcade's Can too I big. <laughs> we don't want you to come. Leave the beast at home. Why is that my Mr. T accent picking up the... <laughs> what you talking about, fool? <laughs> Presidential pal Oprah Winfrey also making the skinny today as she rocks some seriously dramatic looks on the cover of Vogue. Magazine. Yeah, take a look at these. The October issue will feature these dramatic shots of Oprah in heavy purple eyeshadow, decked out in diamonds, sporting a crop do with bangs. Well, this all took a 12-hour marathon photo session to get the shots. The magazine hitting news stands September 16th. But Ma we can agree. Oh, Who doesn't love the love? Timeless, absolutely. From her chai to her good looks. <laughs> Fashion queen Anna Wintour, the Vogue editor-in-chief who inspired the movie The Devil Wears Prada, making some rare revelations. So in her magazine's latest series called 73 Questions, she, in fact, is the one answering the Inquisition. But she does it in a way only she can with a little bit of sass. If you had to name your absolute biggest phobia, what would it be? Spiders. Anna, there's no windows in here. Why are you putting those on? Hiding from you. I appreciate the honesty. Anna, last question. Can you put back on those sunglasses and take a selfie with my phone? I've never taken a selfie and I don't plan to start now. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you, Anna. We also learned the one thing she would never wear, head to toe black. Wow, this is why we love Anna Wintour. Oh, she's so delicious. So in, in case you missed this, there's a dark Hollywood story this week. Speaking of sunglasses, a feud between two of our most beloved pop stars. We are, of course, talking about Katy Perry and Taylor Swift. Taylor told Rolling Stone magazine that the two are now, quote, straight up enemies. Oh, and here's how it started. Three of Taylor's dancers quit and joined Katy's tour. Well, Taylor was furious, but we learned that they had actually worked with Katie first and even told Taylor they didn't want to sign up for a full tour. Well, all that bad blood led to Taylor's new song aptly titled Bad Blood, and there you have it. I bet it's incredibly catchy, and mm. we'll all want to download it still. The bell meaning only one thing, skinny bonus round, beginning with actor Shia LaBeouf pleading guilty. You'll remember he created a raucous yelling obscenities during a performance of Cabaret right here in New York. Yesterday, he was ordered to undergo three months of treatment. If he does that and doesn't get into any more trouble, charges will be dismissed. Well, so fans of Downton Abbey, brace yourselves. It feels that George Clooney is dropping by just in time for Christmas. Ah, uh, there's a catch though. Don't get too excited because the A-lister is not guest starring in an episode of Downton. Instead, he'll appear in a Downton Abbey sketch. It'll air during a Christmas charity broadcast in the UK. He already shot the short film at Highclere Castle, the setting for the hit show, of course. Season five of Downton begins in the US in January. Plus he's getting married, you know? He, he needs to spend time with his wife, Sure, right? I mean, they probably want to redecorate the home. <laughs> home right. in Italy and get some ideas. <laughs> well, speaking of redecorating and superstars in Europe, David Beckham now revealing that his midlife crisis must have come early. The 39-year-old former soccer player told a British newspaper he's actually excited about turning 40 next year. I just want to know, does David Beckham actually get a midlife crisis? Does someone <laughs> of the stature have this? Regardless, he's explaining that it must have hit him when it started, when he started riding motorcycles in his 30s, but the father of four now apparently has a new passion, flowers. Flowers, apparently they're one of the things his wife Victoria allows him to have creative control over. Just tell him what you want, what you really, really want. Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. A gardenia. Tattoos, I want tattoos, <laughs> I want a soccer ball. Finally in the double dose of the skinny, a story that involves a pair of big earners and some tipping. NFL star LaShawn McCoy of the Philadelphia Eagles was dining at a Philly burger joint. Apparently not a fan of the service though. McCoy nicknamed Shady for his ability to elude def defenders is living up to the name, allegedly leaving a measly 20 cents. What? 20 cents for a tip of $61 bill. The server claims that McCoy and his party were being very rude, but admits to forgetting an appetite. Oh, okay. Oh, listen, so you, you hold on to the mozzarella sticks because the plot <laughs> thickens on this one. Pledging to make up for it, none other than the warlock himself, Charlie Sheen, stepping in, offering $1,000 to that stiff server, offering it in a tweet. Sheen said he just wants to help. No judgment. McCoy, he's got a five-year, $45 million contract with the Eagles, is not commenting on the incident. You can't but do that. we are. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> well, you can't stiff your waiter. Come on. 21, 21 cents because you don't get your buffalo wings. Why even bother with the 21 cents at that point? No, I don't huh? know, but you made it in the skinny and you're publicly shamed now, so <laughs> stay with us.